Hello. Sorry for the little hiatus. After Christmas, I had to get ready to coach middle school wrestling. Our season has finished, so now I will have more time and more daylight to film. In November, when I made the mock ad for Coke, I was contacted by Beam Coffee, who saw the video and wanted to hire me to make them a short ad. At first, I thought it was fake. I wasn't expecting an opportunity like this because I'm so early in my career and have no experience working with companies. After emailing back and forth, we set up a Zoom meeting and discussed how we go about pre-production. They sent me some coffee pods and some bags of roasted beans. We talked about their ideas and what they envisioned their ad to look like. Once we finalized everything, I went to scout for a greenhouse for the final shot and everything else is going to be inside. Most of the greenhouses around me were closed for the season, but luckily, my girlfriend's college had a greenhouse that we could use. She took some pictures for me and I showed Beam and they loved the area. After I storyboarded our idea, it was time to shoot. My house doesn't have a good area to shoot in, plus my cats would be a pain. Since Jess was starring in it, why not just use her house? We decided the background should be green, so it worked out perfect with the green wall in her dining room. I was also sent the silver coffee machine for the shoot because the color matched our envisions. These first couple of shots, I took inspiration from Daniel Schiffer. He's another creator who shows how he makes his videos and goes in depth on how he edits them. Really good creator to watch. I'll link his channel down below if you want to go check him out, along with the person who did the shot first. I set my tripod up on the table and tilted it all the way down so the camera's looking directly over the table. We wanted to throw the pot up like Daniel and Josh did, where the label comes into focus, then falls back down. This took us a while to get right, but we got a good couple of shots. The shot goes fast, so we needed to slow this down. To do this, I added a speed remapping and added two points. One right before it reaches the top, and one right when it's about to fall back down. I slowed down the middle section to 25%. I took these little tabs and pulled them to the left to make the regular speed to slow-mo a smoother transition. I tried to mask out my hand and the pod so I could center it over the machine, but I was struggling so I just rotoscoped it out with After Effects. Since there's not any movement in the shot, I added a slight zoom by using keyframes at the beginning and at the end. The beginning one at 100 and the end at 108. The next shot is a pod landing into the machine. I set the camera up slightly off to the side and then directly in front of the machine. These didn't take too long to get, so we got a couple to work with. Same with the last shot, I slowed this down, but only by 25%, and added a slow zoom, since there's no movement. So these two shots go from this, to this. I wanted to get some actual movement in the ad, so I did a handheld push-in of the coffee being brewed. All I had to do was slow the clip down, then nest it so I could add a warp stabilizer. To add a little something different, I added Gaussian blur and put a keyframe at the beginning so it's a little blurry, and as we push in, it looks like the mug is coming into focus. Just for a filler shot and to show what's happening, I did another overhead shot of the machine and just reaching in and grabbing the mug. Just so there's a little movement, I added keyframes for a zoom out instead of a zoom in so it's different than the first two. For the last shot, we traveled to Menominee, Wisconsin, so we could use their greenhouse. We got permission beforehand, plus this shot wasn't going to take too long. We got there at the right time when the sun was still up, but not as bright as midday. I wanted to get an over the shoulder shot of Jess holding the mug and a slow movement panning across to see the mug. So I got a couple shots of that, then we tried some different ones. The one that I liked the most was a more side profile shot. You can really see the mug while Jess is looking at the plants. All I did in post was crop in a little bit, slow it down, then add warp stabilizer to it. The reason we chose a greenhouse to be in the ad is because a coffee pot and even the wrapper is 100% compostable. We didn't think people would get the idea or get that they were compostable. So after I was done color grading, I added 100% compostable text to the video. I also added the Beam logo to the end of the video. After the video was done and they were satisfied with it, the owner of the company knows someone who works with sound design, so he had them work on it. I think they did a really good job on the sound design, and I'm really happy with how it turned out. I'm so glad I was given this opportunity. 
I just wanted to say thank you to Beam for reaching out and giving me this chance to film and edit the ad. I enjoyed it so much and learned a lot during the process. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you want some coffee, go to the link in the description to get some. Thanks for watching.